uh, one followed by the country. We are very honored to be able to invite our speaker, Dr. Prabhu. He has been a doctor in the ENT field for the last 32 years. He has been in the field of energy medicine, preventive healthcare, as well as stem cell. He holds a diploma in epigenetic, and he's also a member of European Wellness Academy. Today, Dr. Prabhu is gonna share on the topic of human response. So what is human response? Human response is a way of looking at how individuals, families, and community reacts to all areas of life that influence and impact them. So human response are viewed in four, from four perspectives, physiologic or regulators, uh, pathologic and experimental and behavioral. So without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Prabhu on episode 37, Human Response. Dr. Prabhu, over to you. Hi, doctor. Uh, I just when you brought the angles, yes. Now, uh, suddenly out of the blues, uh, this was what I was feeling because the way we human beings, I would say around 80 to 90 percent of the human beings, the way we respond to every situation. And uh, right now in Malaysia with the 30 million population today, I think the response from every citizen uh, with the new prime minister coming in has been very, very different from different angles. People are you know, putting their views in whatever ways they want. They are actually, uh, it is actually more of not responding. It is more of reacting. This is what is happening. And uh, what I felt was uh, I need to connect this response to our human body, which is very, very important because your human body is tuned to respond as well as react. There are two things. Like you would have heard of a person consuming a tablet and reacting. You would have heard people getting well. The body reacts and then things go wrong and then it can situation where the person dies as well. Now, that's a reaction. The reaction and then probably the intervention will help the person to human being when you look at what we have been doing is uh, uh, we will give some tips on this particular uh, area so that uh, it can be helpful in many uh, for many people down there and then that in turn can help us to move forward. Now, saying that, uh, of course, I don't need to introduce myself. Now, with a very, very simple question, every one of you down here should ask yourself, do you respond to a situation or a comment or an area where, what do you do? Do you respond uh, or do you react? There's a spelling mistake on the respond. It is responding. So responding is becoming responding. All right. No issues because this slide I just prepared 10 minutes ago and then I put it down here. Now you need to choose wisely and it needs it is. Now why I'm talking once you understand externally how you react and how you respond when you start understand then automatically you will understand that your physical body will do the same thing as what you are doing externally. It will either react or it will respond. So what we need to train our body is, we need to train the body situations. So that means it's, it's a practice. For example, if you, are, if you are talking that you are a very calm person, now what will happen? A calm person will normally respond to a situation. Whereas on the other side, a person who is very aggressive in his life with high desires, high expectation, you know, uh, goal getters, or these kind of people, what happens? Invariably, they will react to the situation. So whatever happens is when you react, what will happen is there is a reaction. Action will happen automatically. That means for whatever action you put across, there will be a reaction. It's like the same 
Newton's third law, wherein for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now saying that what happens is, we need to understand that this particular slide, I'm, I, I'm going to go a little more detail because this is very, very specifically, I prepared the slide so that I go into detail so that you understand what you do and what you have to practice in general. So we go from the left side of the slide, wherein the first thing what happens is most of us, most of us have been tuned to a factor called fear. Now, we feel that uh, we have been, you're going to get this. You don't do this, this is what will happen to you. So what happens inside you, there is a fear factor which has already been built up. But it's not wrong. We need to have a little bit of fear factor once in a while so that we know what to do and uh, handle our journey of life much more easily. So what you need to understand is, instead of fear, what you need to do is just clear that fear from that situation and start looking at being aware. Now, if I'm talking about awareness, what I would say is, just be aware like it can be in a situation hey today what doctor is going to tell uh, will he talk about any diseases uh, will he uh, talk something wherein it, it, it will be a unfavorable uh, situation for me it could be uh, regarding a cancer so there is a fear there but if you come inside the zoom meeting and then say okay you are going to be in awareness just sit down be aware that you are already inside the Zoom meeting and Dr. Prabhu is already down there and then he started speaking. So your job is just be alert, be aware and listen to what we are talking. So what happens? Focus on the positive news just for today. That means today, right now between 10 to 11, this beautiful platform has been uh, given to us for us to share the information. So what happens? Pick up all the positive information what I'm going to share for you from here. And whatever is practically feasible for you, you can start implementing that particular uh, uh, whatever positive information I'm giving you. Next, what you need to do is, if there is a situation where you should actually sit in silence and meditate and enhance your energy before sending a healing to others. Now, this is something uh, which is maybe a little out of the subject, but what, what is happening is, uh, for example, right now, uh, what you all can do is, once you are in this situation, just close your eyes and then listen to what I'm talking and receive the energies for your own self. Instead of sending the energies to the others, what you're going to do is receive the energies to your own self and then start giving a lot of positive light to the cells within yourself. Now, just change the situation that I put here to the those affected outside, right? It's not those affected. It is within you. Definitely, there are millions of cells inside you which are affected, which feel that they need some healing process. So in that way, let it be for your own self. <clears throat> now, coming back to the center of the slide, wherein this is a very, very important uh, information I'm going to share. Uh, here, what you all need to do is, first is you need to change your mindset. Now, what kind of mindset are you going to change? Changing your mindset, all the motivators speak about it. All the saints and the speakers, public speakers speak about changing the mindset. Now, changing the mindset is as easy as it has been told. For the reason is, you want to change your mindset, you, you can give it a try, whatever I'm going to show you or probably practice this. What you just need to do is close down your eyes, inhale and exhale. That means breathe in and breathe out 21 times, in and out 21 times. And then after the 21 times, you want to focus on a particular, whatever it can be a goal or a particular project you want to do or particular action you are going to do. If you can breathe in and breathe out, relax yourself and then practice of what you want to do, your mindset will automatically change. How? Probably you are in a very angry mode that you feel you want to do something in a very harsh manner. But once you do this breathing technique of 21 times breathing and breathing out, and then you see after the 21 times, you'll feel, okay, what are the other possibilities? What do I do? So automatically what will happen is you will get into a very calm mode so that your action 
or reaction what i was talking will change to responding so responding is something so beautiful that you will actually analyze the favorable and unfavorable factors which will be affecting the situation and then executing your whatever actions you are going to execute so coming back to the once you change your mindset the second very important is you need to create an awareness of the situation now awareness is what today we are all here now what is the awareness you know you are going to do for the next 24 hours is you will have your own way of doing things in your life from morning until night okay and you have some responsibilities of doing things but when you do every or anything under the sun through awareness the results what you get out of the awareness will be definitely beneficial and favorable to you definitely the reason is in awareness you will mostly respond to the situation you won't react now coming back to the awareness once you are aware i have just divided into either you go to the healthy food on the preventive methods okay we will go to the healthy food and lifestyle when you get into the healthy food and lifestyle what are the things you need to do number one you need to work out that means have a regular exercise once you get up in the morning in this 24 hours your job minimum of 30 minutes to 45 minutes or maximum one hour you need to do a workout for your body it's basically your body needs a little bit of workout and especially for people about 30 years very important and if you're tall you are a person sitting on a chair continuously for a very very long time and working continuously uh, without a back support what you need to understand is definitely your back is under stress how are you going to change without giving a back stretch definitely when you're 50 years you will not be even be able to bend down and touch your toes and many of us with a big pot belly you will not be able to do that now imagine once your pot belly comes your belly goes inside in front to such an extent that you go behind and then of course when you're walking you just imagine yourself huh? our body is aligned in such a way that your spine your your legs everything has to be in a straight line that means when you walk you should walk straight but today we see most of the human beings and having a big belly uh, how is uh, how is uh, the balancing of the energies the spine everything everything is a little bit imbalanced now but we are trying to balance that particular way of walking style and then we move forward as long as you don't walk straight and the energy flow is straight up, definitely you can be a healthy individual. And for people out there, unless it's a congenital condition where your stomach is big because your dad's uh, stomach was very big and your great grandfather or grandfather, unless it's something like that, then only maybe genetically you are still predisposed to have a big pot belly. But otherwise, most of us have created that pot belly because of our lifestyle. So what you need to do is have a proper stretching of your back every day. Very simple guidelines I will give you is just put your wall, legs onto the wall like an L shape. Stay in that position for 15 minutes. It's good enough for you for a back stretch. Then the second very easy back stretch what you can do is just sit down with the folded knees and then go into a baby position as though you are in a baby, mother's womb wherein you sit like a baby. Just in that position maybe another five minutes. So these two positions will automatically give a fantastic flexibility to your back. Now, once your back is free, let me tell you, the whole day uh, for the 24 hours will be fantastic for you to, you know, move around, turn around. And of course, added to all this stretching, you need to go do a little bit of twisting of your spine to the left and to the right. As you, you know, stretch behind and in front to the sides, all these we need to do because our body needs all those little, little uh, stretch toning. It is necessary. Now, once you do that, that is for the workout. Then comes to the food which improves your immune system. You need to look at, because with COVID, see today, uh, we are all talking about pandemic, right? Now, at the end of the day, tell me, you and me, uh, I'm at least looking at when this pandemic will have an endemic. Endemic means E-N-D, it means it's a full stop. After this, we need to have a beautiful, normal lifestyle, which we were having before 2019. We didn't have any restriction. We didn't have to wear masks. We didn't have to wear 
take a vaccination. Can you believe yesterday I went to one uh, cloth shop and I was just registering. They said, uh, they, they said uh, have you been vaccinated? I said, yeah, I've been vaccinated. Then they asked me, can you show us the digital certificate or the certificate or the card? I said, yeah. So I showed them. But when I asked them, yeah, you people are asking me whether I'm vaccinated or not. Are you people vaccinated? Then my question to them was, are you people vaccinated? You show me that whether you're vaccinated or not. So they were a little uh, upset when I asked them because they couldn't provide me that particular detail from their side. But this is what is the world is all going about. What to do? We have no other choice. So we need to have certain uh, principles in life wherein we need to work on our own system first. So in that way, when you're talking about food, which can improve your immune system is basically to protect yourself. So look, take more of alkaline food, take more of, uh, uh, now that is where when you're talking about food, water will automatically come because with uh, food, we will be having water, but uh, there are a lot of healthy drinks available there. Now, when you're looking at the food part, go for more of alkaline, colorful foods are very, very important. So look into that. Then other than that, share quality time to educate yourself, uh, you, you are yourself as well as to the surrounding people. Now, very, very important in this situation is you need to pick. Now, for example, there's one hour of whatever uh, we are spending on this uh, platform to uh, basically I spend a little more time to picking up all the information, you know, or trying to put it in a slide form because I visualize the people wherein they are eagerly waiting to listen and then probably they want to get more information every time I speak. Now, this is the biggest challenge for me is every time I need to speak a new topic, it's a, something new I need to share means I need to pick up that information, right? The best uh, quote I can give you is, uh, what the mind does not know, the eyes does not see, the ears does not hear. So in that way, if I don't know something, how am I going to explain it to you? Or how am I going to give you that information? It will not happen. So I need to go. So education plays a very, very important role. Now, when you people are picking up information from you, what you need to do? Definitely that information, you cannot keep it with you for a very long time. You need to share it with you. The more you share, the more benefit for the yourself as well as for others. Now, in that way, if you say, uh, in the past 38 episodes, whatever I have been uh, speaking, I'm qu quite surprised for 38 hours, I have given so much of information which I have picked up. Now that gave me an advantage to pick up information. So definitely in my brain, all those information is stored. So same way, what you also do need to do is pick up information and then share it with people. Self-motivation is another very, very important. Now self-motivation, for example, uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to get excited. Okay, fine, this Saturday. Or uh, it is not only Saturday, Dr. Prabhu. There are other beautiful souls on this platform who are giving a lot of sharing of experiences, giving a lot of their personalized experience on Tarahat's water and its uh, efficacy and its benefit, uh, be it the Chinese version or the English version or the Malay version. What we need to do is whatever you need to get the information, go and pick it up from them. So that is basically self-motivation. So the moment you finish off self-motivation, you're motivated now. What will happen is automatically you need to motivate others. In that way, what happened was, this is, these are all personalized uh, experiences I'm going to share with you. There was one beautiful soul from uh, Australia and uh, he has been living there for 12 years and then he was being told by another friend of mine and who was a patient 30 years ago in, in India. So they connected to him. So he called me and said his wife is uh, having going for dialysis with diabetes with you know retinal involvement. All this problem is there. Now uh, the first thing I told him is see in from I am from in Malaysia how am I going to help you? It's online consultation and of course whatever medications or supportive this one if I'm going to give I cannot suggest him. So my mind immediately told was, hey, invest in this water, Tarahat's water. So I spoke to him about Tarahat's water. So what happened? He took one week and then he picked up the instrument. I couriered it to him last uh, two weeks ago. I sent the instrument. Then I gave him all the instruction as to how to drink, you know, step by step, because he doesn't have any problem. Both him and his wife are in his 50s. So I guided in such a way that there, there are steps they need to follow for one month. Because... 
if they are in malaysia of course it's easy for me i can just tell them do this do this do this and that too if there is a possibility for them to come and see me is much more easier but because he is very far i need to be a little more careful in uh, uh, giving the situation wherein i need to guide them properly can you believe it's just four five days he's been drinking this water and he started telling me yesterday he messaged me and said hey doctor i think the detox has already started and i feel good you know now what is that he feels good is he told me that uh, especially he goes for a walk and he comes back uh, much more energy you know this drinking this particular water so just give me a minute ah huh? there is something here just hold on just give me a minute okay now what happened was i normally uh, put this uh, frankenstein uh, this of my room uh, every day morning i do that so it was just little more smoky all right now so this particular person was feeling so happy he said thank you doctor for giving this wonderful opportunity that i am able to you know uh, he can feel the goodness and then he is able to feel that there's a lot of positive things happening uh, after drinking that terra hertz water now this is a good news so what happened even though i am self motivated if i don't motivate other people and then give them an opportunity to good health then what's the point so same way every one of you down there definitely this is a very beautiful uh, situation for us to share this terra hertz water because it's an amazing uh, situation where we can help one another through this water technology and then the device you know there are a lot of beautiful things now forget about the disease on one side just to be healthy itself you need to drink this water now other than that what you need to do is call up and speak to the people whom you love it's not only love whom all you feel your good friends please call up and speak to them now this is the most beautiful thing with telephone facility and that too with a mobile handphone in your hand how many of us call up and speak to our people whom we know for years once in a blue moon also we don't call but we say we are very busy now these are all little bit of uh, changes when you start doing it things will start changing and then that will give an advantage for you now there are little bit of uh, preventive methods we need to look at number one what you need to do is you need to create a healthy safe environmental around you now if at all i am talking about safety healthy environment now just imagine uh, on one side there are business people who are out there to bring in the new products you know try to you know make money out of it just to give you an example the ivermectin tablets can you believe people are selling it one strip uh, for 50 ringgits 60 ringgits 80 ringgits this is what because just because the gullible people down there outside who really you know probably are looking for a solution now this is on the other side people are inhuman in such a way that they are charging so exorbitantly now what oxygen cylinder i used to buy for 500 ringgits with a cylinder with all the equipments today the agent uh, our uh, suppliers they are telling doctor it will cost you around 1800 now from where to where for what the why are you charging so much but that's the way the uni that's the way the business community is out there you and i cannot do anything but if you can create some healthy environment in your own home definitely your breathing definitely your surrounding cleanliness will be definitely better than what it can be and we don't need to be scared so much about this corona you 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 can you see everybody holding the now everybody uh, i think buying that gun with wherein uh, the mist is been uh, uh, flushed out of the uh, gun and then they are using all the sanitizer now do you think that the corona in this whole open area cannot be surviving anywhere in the air how much ever you are going to use the gun or whatever you are going to do that is still going to be there now the more you concentrate on those areas wherein we feel that it may now you just tell me in your whole house of 1500 square feet how much of sterilization you are going to do you can do sterilization how many days can the sterilized sterile atmosphere be there maybe one day two day three day after that 
once again it is still exposed you just go once one time outside to a 99 market and come back now you think that uh, 99 markets and uh, other markets wherever we are talking you think they are all sanitizing the whole uh, environment no only thing very crazily they will keep one uh, sanitizer uh, liquid down there and they will put a little bit on your hand and then they will give you one slip and then you go inside this is a utter nonsense everybody is trying and the worst thing is you have to write down there your name your phone number your temperature as though just writing your name temperature and phone number they will recognize that whether you are a covid positive patient or covid negative this is what but this is where everywhere things are happening now you and i cannot change so what we need to do we need to respond the only way we respond is just go with the flow take care of yourself do not allow a situation to put your moods down put your energy down and feel sad no change it so create a healthy and safe environmental around you other than that now you need to prepare a very very healthy diet chart very important what food are you going to eat now i would know how many people are, are out there are able to plan what breakfast they are going to have what lunch you are going to have you know what dinner you are going to what are the drink you are going to take but in a hospital when you go get admitted you will have a diet chart you know if you have a particular problem they will have a diet chart or probably when you say okay you want to you know build up your muscle your your uh, trainer will give you all the chart you know what you need to do so the same way what you and i or the common people should do is prepare your a uh, diet chart and then start following it every day for a week just practice it what and in a week what you need to do is you need to uh, of course watch your weight and watch what you eat automatically watch what you eat uh, comes when you prepare your healthy diet then yoga is the best why do i say that is when you go to a gym just to you know probably you do some weight lifting and you know uh, both for the cardiac as well as for the the toning of your muscle most of the time you may not be very flexible in that unless you are working out uh, according uh, through a trainer then maybe but the simplest way when you do a, a yoga and that too in yoga the especially the surya namaskar which has got the 12 steps you know when you do that it is as good as doing an exercise for 1 hour in a gym it will create a toning but only thing is you need to do a proper uh, practice of this uh, surya namaskar wherein the flexibility see ultimately what will happen is how much of a muscle power you have it may not be useful for you unless you are talking about going for a, a, a competition where you want to show your strength by lifting heavy weights it's the basically your flexibility and your toning of muscle the strength of the muscle is very important for you this is for a common man i'm talking i would prefer i my body needs to be flexible that's it so flexible means my back needs to be more flexible that's very important number one number two if i have to lift a 5 kg or a 10 kg i should be able to lift it and then walk along this is very for that your knee joints need to be strong enough if your knee joint needs to be strong enough you need to probably do that half sit ups you know half sit ups if you can do it regularly your calf muscles and your thigh muscles become more stronger so in that way if you look at yoga gives you a a better opportunity for making your physical body more stronger next comes regular pranayam pranayam is basically i have been repeatedly telling go for proper breathing now what kind of breathing are you talking number one taking deep breath for 10 seconds hold the breath for 10 seconds then leave the breath for 10 seconds simple so automatically 10 10 10 but if at all for the beginners it's very easy is 5 5 10 that means 5 seconds inhale the breath 5 seconds you uh, hold the breath and 10 seconds you leave the breath that means 20 seconds so 20 seconds means in one hour you are going to breathe in and breathe out three times which is good enough so when you can start doing these kind of breathing exercises regularly consciously for 15 minutes to 30 minutes just imagine in 15 uh, in two weeks to three months time your lung capacity will be so good that you will be able to climb the stairs much more easily because you have a respiratory reserve that means there is extra oxygen is available at your cellular level see everything plays a very very important how you uh, you know uh, strengthen your cellular level it's just like a building wherein your foundation if it is very strong 
the building can go higher and higher is not a problem the building will be strong the same way you and me if we can create a healthy cellular atmosphere at inside automatically you're a uh, whatever uh, execution of work you need to do the bigger one probably the muscle will be able to do the job much more easily now other than the chanting of mantras the best mantra for me if at all you ask me to chant a mantra i will say i love myself i love you mom i love you dad simple and you can say these words to all the people whom you love you can this is the most easiest and best mantra number one I love myself, I love you mom, I love you dad, and then of course other people whom you love, you can send love vibration, number one. Number two, thank you mantra. Thank your soul, thank your body, thank your dad, thank your mom, thank your spouse, thank your children, thank your friends. So when you can do this mantra specifically thanking, and so in, in our journey as a human being, there are two words which is very, very powerful. Number one is love, number two is thank you. These are the two words in our life, if we can use it to the maximum of our capability, your body and your environment, everything becomes so beautiful and blissful that you would definitely be able to uh, live in a very blissful state. Other than that, now when we go laugh out loudly, how many of us, you know, uh, basically we, even a smile doesn't come out of our eye. Uh, number two, we don't laugh. Most of us have forgotten to laugh because we are involved with so much of seriousness in our life, reading the number of deaths, reading the number of cases. You know, what happened? Of course, your mind is not very happy. About when you see the number of cases, 20,000, 25,000, what will happen? Of course, you'll feel you're scared. The fear factor comes in. So automatically, you feel that uh, the fear factor, when it's, it overrules your confidence level, you know, automatically, you will feel that, of course, you might be a victim of automatically the COVID and then you will die. This is what will happen. Forget everything, just laugh out. Life is to life is to live fully to the fullest of our capability because this is what the creator gave us an opportunity. Go enjoy everything in life. Instead of, you know, we go, you know, like in a, in a small pond where you just like a frog in a well, you know, you be there, of course, you cannot move out. So you need to get out of that uh, comfort zone and then, you know, make your life much more uh, easily. Other than that, come on, smiling, seeing in the seeing in the mirror. You need to smile to your own self. When you see yourself in the mirror, what happens is how many of us enjoy seeing our own self, seeing our physique, you know, seeing our face smiling. And how many of you say, I love you? When you see in the mirror, I love you to your own self. It's basically telling your own soul and to the body cells. Now, if each cell has its own life and its own beautiful journey, what's wrong? Absolutely, there's nothing wrong. Sure, very, very important. How many of us go to the, but now with the COVID situation, of course, it's, it's, it's a little uh, difficult for every one of us to go with nature, but whatever best possible, grow a lot of plants and then be with nature. That is very, very important. Speaking to plants in the garden, very, very, it's another beautiful way. How many of you have plants at home? In fact, uh, yesterday there was someone from Singapore and uh, he had posted a, uh, 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 two photographs to me saying that, uh, doctor, this is what happened after using. So on the first photograph, there were only few flowers down there in the plant. So what he said was he has uh, used Terahad's water. And after uh, one, two weeks, I think the, the flowers started blooming. So what has happened is the, wa the water, Terahad's water, because of the molecular structure, which is smaller, even the plants love to pick up this particular water much more easily inside and then grow better now if you can just compare the water to the nature let's assume that uh, we all are living in nature we didn't have a terrace device in nature probably i would say uh, when you're looking at uh, either you're living in a village area not in a town area where it's totally polluted what will happen is the natural water or the rain water which come from the clouds is actually imbibed or infused with uh, oxygen it's actually you can feel when the fresh rain uh, the you you can smell the ozone ozone is o3 so what happens is when there is an extra oxygen molecule coming down to the earth and when you when the same water goes down to the earth wherein the plants suck in the same water what will happen the plants will grow very beautifully in a lushy green manner they will grow 
This is a natural method. But today, because of the highly polluted situation, the same water, when it goes to the earth, it is collecting all the lead poisoning, mercury poisoning, all the carbon monoxide, everything is pumped into the earth. Now, that is the same dirty thing. The, the plant has to suck it in. And then from there, it has to produce the fruits, probably the flowers. All this has to happen. That's why if you see the roses, uh, today's roses doesn't smell at all. But it looks like a rose. It looks like a rose. That's it. But it doesn't smell at all. So what happened to the smell? Normally, every rose, I understand that rose should have that beautiful scent. It should be there. But today, it is not there. So where it went because of the toxins going inside and then now just change the situation from a tree to human body. What will happen? You're also drinking the same. Uh, of course, we all drink purified or filtered water. It's all okay. But the food, what we eat, the exposure of our skin onto the uh, environmental. Don't you think the lead and all is going inside your skin? Definitely, yes. So what is happening? Little bit of lead going inside, little bit of mercury going inside, little bit of cadmium going inside. So definitely your cells are being affected. Now, once your cells are affected, how do you expect the cells to go on functioning in a normal way? It will not be able to. Now, this is where most of the problem we do have in our body is we don't even know what diseases we are all having inside our body. Most of us don't know. Maybe we do a blood test and then we say, okay, all fine and no problem. But I don't agree with that for the reason is blood test will not tell you how healthy are you. It can tell you you don't have a disease. That's all. The, these are all two different uh, situations where being healthy and be, being disease-free is different. Now, what is happening is uh, we all feel that we are all very healthy. But why is that certain people healthy individuals take a vaccination and after two days or five days, they get into a heart attack or some issue and they die. Now, what happens? Now, why is that this particular person was healthy individual and they, he, he passed away? Like uh, last week, uh, this, was, uh, this, was, this guy was around 53 year old and uh, he just had some fever and then this guy is he's very good. So what he did was he took some Panadol and then he, he tried to manage, but he was COVID positive. And this guy, I think, did a saliva test and then it came as negative. So he was thinking that uh, everything okay, but things were going wrong, but he didn't realize it. So Friday, he had uh, a little bit of serious sore throat, then he took some Panadol and all. And then Sunday night, he had a little bit of breathing difficulty at 2 a.m. And he was rushed to the hospital. 2 a.m., he rushed to the hospital, got admitted. 4 a.m., he passed away. That's it. He is a vegetarian, very healthy individual. Why should he die? Now, the problem is, the problem I would say is, most of the time, human beings, we all become self-proclaimed doctors, self-medication. Now, what happens is, see, when your body thing, you have to respond to it. You need to know because there are It's not that every time you, of course, there are a lot of things which uh, you may not be in the right direction of assistance, but still, I would say, whenever in a situation, now he lost his life. That's it. Now, what is the situation? His family, his wife, his children, everybody are at loss. Can we re get him back? We cannot get him back. So, in the same way, that awareness is very, very important in our day to day life for us to live appropriately and one day when time comes for us to live, die we will die that is still okay but at least let's live on this planet earth in an awareness mode saying that the final gratitude plays a very very important role because every drop of gratitude will glitter in your soul will glitter in your spirit the inner the, in, of course, there are different different names. They call it as Atma, the soul. It's all there inside you. Uh, for every action of gratitude, whatever you do, there is a very beautiful uh, shining inside your soul. This is what will happen to every one of us when we are in the grateful. So for today, if I, I'm very grateful that today 
uh, with George around there, George, Jackie, Brian, Linda, then Angie, all these beautiful souls. Because of them, I'm able to do my job very freely because they are assisting me from behind indirectly. Thank you very much. So what you all need to do is say thanks to the universe for it gave you an opportunity for you to, it's like, you know, as a tourist, you come down to this mother earth, you know, live for some time. And after that, say bye and then goodbye and go back. Now, where you all go back, that only after we go back, we need to go and see. So for you need to say a lot of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the more you use, thank you will be more beautiful. So what you need to do is to your loved ones, to the, to your job, what you have, you know, to the money, what you get, to your neighbors, everything. So you have to say thanks to every. Then send love vibration to the universe. Now, in fact, the universe doesn't need your, uh, this one, but what will happen is when you send a lot of love vibration to the fellow human beings, to the all the living beings, including animals, plants, when you send that signal, of course, it's, a, it's like a probably a grain of uh, situation for this whole big universe, but it will matter because when you send a lot of love vibration, you have to produce that love vibration to send it. So what happens when you have so much of love vibration within your body, your human body will be so beautifully filled with love that there will be a lot of healing happening within yourself. Now, what is the benefit by sending that love vibration to the universe, your own universe inside you starts healing. It's another beautiful situation. Next, you need to be very, very humble to every living being around you. So this is another very, very important situation in today's life. Let's help each other in whatever uh, way we can. And you should look at the world beyond all the religious boundaries. We have to do that. I think we all have lost that basic quality as a human uh, beyond religion. And that's how today, if you see, there's a lot of chaotic situation. But let's start with our own self first. Let's be in that uh, situation where we, we have to go beyond all the boundaries and help people. Let's do that and be a contributor to the world now. Uh, if you look at the world, why I say we, you have to be a contributor uh, to the world is you just just imagine what I'm talking to you right now. Number one, uh, a mango tree. The mango tree produces the mangoes, but it never eats on its own. It's only other people eat. So a mango tree produces mango for other people to eat. That's number one. Number two, uh, the river. It flows, the water comes down. But the river never drinks the water by itself. So it's giving the water to the other people. That is the human beings or animals to the plants. So in that way, if you look at the universe, most of the thing, like including the rain, everything is being giving. That means it is all contributing to the situation. So the law of nature is giving. This is the law of nature. Now, why is that you and me as a human being, we are the only souls who are so greedy in everything under the sun, right? From properties to grabbing money, to grabbing food, to anything you say, you want it only for yourself. This is what we have been doing. Now, in this world of, uh, of course, with a challenging situation where people are very, very selfish, you can be selfless wherein just take what you need but there will be a question out there people will tell doctor you are telling that you know you cannot be selfie you have to be like this you like this. yeah fine how about for ourselves i in my practical experience what i can share very boldly is what you are eligible for you you will get it you don't need to demand for it will come to you it will come to you so when that is a beautiful blessing of this universe or god or the creator when they are ready to give it to you why are you bother about the money even for you, if, if at all you are thinking that the money, it will come to you. I am experiencing that. It's almost eight to ten years now. Everything is taken care. I don't need to do any extra work. So saying this, I would request every one of you, unless we together we break the spread and sustain of this COVID situation, let's all live a very, very beautiful, blissful life. So this particular slide is exclusive for us to get to create an awareness I created. And let me go on to the next uh, slide wherein, uh, okay, this is a very, very simple, just like we all 
uh, react uh, in an external atmosphere and we respond to the external atmosphere, our human body also does the same thing. It will respond or it will react. Now, if we train the body to respond, automatically it will respond. Now, just imagine on externally, you are a very angry person. Uh, what will happen is you react for everything, right? You are doing that. Now, what will happen is just visualize and then feel the one cell in your body with the same character. Whatever you're exhibiting is the same character in your cell. If one cell uh, feels angry with the next cell, the next uh, cell which is there next to it is a neighbor. It feels so angry. This fellow, why is he coming here? I want to kick him out. I want to throw him out. I want to do this. It goes on reacting. What will happen? There will be a fight between, between these cells. So automatically, the more powerful cell will of course, destroy the other cell. Now, do you want that situation to happen within your body? Your own body fights your own cell. Your, that's what is called as an autoimmune disease, wherein your own body will fight. And one day you will also die because of, that rea because of the reaction. Now, if the same situation becomes responding, you are a very lovable person, you are a very beautiful soul doing a lot of charity work. You're only giving. This is what you have been doing. Now, just visualize the same thing with one cell. What will happen? The same cell also, hey, the neighbor is so beautiful, but it wants to help him. So probably the neighbor wants a help from this particular cell. Like, for example, you have more of a... Uh, then the other cell has less of sodium. It will just pick up from the... Uh, outer uh, part of that particular cell. This is what it's a home. It's called homeostasis, wherein they help each other and balance each other. This is what is God's way of doing from the cell to the outer atmosphere, to the physical body. What we are so there is needs to be a responding situation, not a reacting situation. Now, water plays a such in this has been repeatedly. I'm telling. Water plays a very, very important role in our existence, in our existence. Now, do you want to gulp the water or do you want to sip the water? So how many of you sip the water when you're drinking? How many of you gulp the water? Now, if it is a bigger molecule, how is it going to get absorbed? It will not be absorbed. Now, if it is a small molecule, it gets absorbed. That is where even the technological wise, probably you're talking about 20, 30 years ago, there was nothing like nanotechnology. There was nothing like the powder technology where you put it under your tongue and it gets absorbed. It was not there. But today it is there. And uh, last time we had, uh, had all the tablet forms. But today there's all gel forms, uh, gel film forms, gel film, you know. Uh, Japan is the first country to bring out this gel film technology. And wherein you just put the gel film on your tongue, within a few seconds it gets absorbed. Now, this is the highest form of uh, technological advances which we are seeing. And of course, in the future, we will be, uh, we will be seeing wherein we will be getting the uh, light technology wherein your vitamin C, vitamin B complex or whatever vitamins you're talking, it's all in the light. You just put it on your body, it will get absorbed. This is what, and you just buy the uh, vitamin C online from the, whichever company is selling that uh, light uh, with the light technology. And then you focus it on your body, your vitamin C will go inside. This is going to be the future. It will happen. Now, coming back to the our water, which is better? You want to have a bigger molecule or you want to have a smaller molecule? Small molecule is always better because it's much more easier. Just imagine a, a small baby, which is around 1 kg or 2 kg or 3 kg or 5 kg. You know, lifting that small baby is very easy. On the other side, you see another man who is 50, uh, 50 kg or 100 kg. You think lifting will be an easy task? No. It's the same concept here. Our body is much more happier to handle small molecules than big molecules. It is 100%. So in that way, when you're talking about small molecule, this is where the breakthrough technology, what Tara has just come out is, the concept is basically small water molecule. It becomes small. That's it. So when that facility is available, it's more easier for your body to you know, pick up the water molecule and then utilize it. And then whatever it has to do, it will do and throw it out. Your body will do everything. So our job is to give the body what it requires. If probably uh, we all were uh, living uh, 40 years ago, probably in a, in a village area wherein there is a liver of river flowing and no pollution. Huh? There is no pollution. And in the villages, we all had well water. 
probably the well water was good enough with small molecule and then when you drink that particular because you didn't have so much of poisoning inside your body that water was good enough for you to uh, you know uh, do the whatever metabolism and then the day to day physiological work the cell were able to do but today you and i are exposed to so much of poisoning definitely you are drinking a bigger molecule of water it is finding it difficult to you know metabolize and then pick it up and then do what it is supposed to do so what happens automatically your diseases are much more than you can think of and what is happening okay fine disease is there is still acceptable but even doctors are not able to treat the disease because they don't know what to do they are giving the treatment nothing is happening the patient dies or the diseases progresses now why this situation has happened is it is all a collective phenomena in the past number of years wherein uh, we have been ignorant in taking care of ourselves but today food we cannot eat too much right but at least water you can drink 3 liters to 3 and 1/2 liters to 4 liters of water you can drink but the same way if you look at can you eat a food of 3 kg to 4 kg i do know there are people who can eat 1 uh, kg mutton 1 kg chicken all can eat that is on one side but do you think for a normal human being can we eat so much of food or 1 kg to no so maximum you can eat is for the whole days i would say around half a kg of everything or maybe the rice vegetables everything or half a kg to 3/4 of a kg we can eat so which is more is your water so that means your consuming of water is more than the solid food what you are going to eat so don't you think that particular what you are consuming more should be ideal for the body to be absorbed and do the job that is where terahertz comes in so so terahertz resonating device is a necessity in today's polluted environment it is a necessity whether you like it or not it's just like everybody has a mobile phone on this planet earth and everybody is using it why is that because it's a necessity that's it very simple in the same way when you're talking about um, the major portion of our day to day life drinking water plays a important role so terahertz device also is an important investment which people should look into because that is much more beneficial in terms of the body's physiological function saying that definitely we have a fantastic uh, instrument with us so what we need to do our job is to pick up one if you cannot pick up one instrument it's still okay there are out there people very beautiful souls who are able to give the resonated water to every one of us so just collect it and drink now once you're doing this what will happen is you need to give a minimum of uh one month to three months initially and then give a maximum of six months to see some benefits but such of those who are all having some diseases in form of chronic diabetes if you're all 15 years of diabetes or 20 years of diabetes definitely your body has been in a, in a very difficult state okay in a difficult state so when you want that particular 15 years of problem to be solved by drinking this water it may take a little time with assistance in form of whatever i showed in the slide you know there are a lot of things you need to do change in your lifestyle change in your food habits change in your mindset all this you need to do then only holistically your body will be able to understand and then try to work for it so it it is definitely a wholesome uh, situation you need to do but when you are looking at our terahertz machine it's a very very simple device wherein you know uh many of you may not even like wouldn't even know that there is something called a frequency of the water is available however this frequency is around 7.8 uh, 7.6 and uh, there are a lot of other models available in the market with different different frequency and our earth is uh, vibrating especially the ozone layer on top it's 7.83 it's a, a schumann's resonance it's called the schumann's resonance it's down there so everything under the sun is vibrating at a particular frequency and this particular 7.6 of uh, the our device which emits that particular frequency is much more beautiful and compatible to your uh, cellular water molecule and then it's able to absorb and just see the water molecular size it's just 2 nanometer is a very small that means even your cell gates you know wherein the water for it to go inside will be much more easier now what has happened is 
as the water molecule is broken into smaller and smaller and smaller, definitely the viscosity of that particular liquid will be much more smoother or that means it will be in the minus form. So our water viscosity after checking in the lab by our company, it's given a reading of minus 680, minus. Just imagine if it is zero and then the plus, that means it's much more thicker. If you're talking about minus, that means it's much more smaller molecule. So that means it's able to glide in or slide in much more easily. So if your water molecule is small, automatically the sliding in or gliding in of the water molecule inside your cell is much more beautiful. Now, other than that, why, uh, of course, the testing in the lab, what they have done is uh, it can kill the bacteria, it can kill the viruses, it can kill the fungus. And definitely, why do they say it is anti-aging is very simple concept is when there is a free radical damage, you age faster. Okay. When there is a free radical damage happening, you age faster. Number one, why that uh, free radical damage? It can be because of the external pollution, environmental situation. That's on one side. Now, on the other side, if you take, you have a vitamin A deficiency, vitamin D deficiency, vitamin C deficiency, vitamin E deficiency. When you have all these, these are all called antioxidants. That means if for the free radical damage, you need all this. For example, you don't have all this. You may have a deficiency of vitamin D3 because you never go to the sun. So automatically what will happen is that will in turn cause a problem wherein you will age faster. Now, along with drinking in water, if you can add on with all these nutrients to your food, don't you think your age can be prevented much faster? That means the anti-aging properties. For example, if at 50 years, you look like a 70 year old man, that means you're aging faster. But at 50 years, if you're looking like a 30 year old man, that means your aging has been restricted to a slower level. Now, what we can do is definitely as human beings, we can't be living here for 200 years or 300 years now, at least in this situation. But at least can we touch 100 years? Yes, we can touch 100 years. That's easy. But with this environmental situation, we all need to really, really work. Uh, probably do certain. Not take it along. It's, it's just a adjuvant therapy. Take it along and move forward. So drinking this water gives you a good benefit. So go for it. In your please drink water for you to be healthy. That's it. Now, other than that, if you get the, all the benefits of uh, probably your sugar level going down, your blood pressure going down, all this, it's a it's a bonus for you. But do not focus on this particular thing, giving you a particular relief in terms of diseases. All right. Now, finally, what you need to do is you definitely need to give a change in your mindset, the key to your life in today's chaotic situation and just changing your mindset alone will be the pillar of your journey. But along with that, you need to work on changing your lifestyle, changing your food habit, changing your sleeping habits, changing your environmental habits, whatever you are doing, you need to change. It's not just the mindset alone. Huh? You need to change many things, but if you can change on a day-to-day -day basis and then start working on it, definitely I assure you that we all can live a very, very blissful life. And with whatever requirement we need, we will be getting everything. The divine, the universe has been blessed with that. We will have everything, be it food, be it money, be it, you can talk anything, it is there. So in that way, let's start working on this particular area wherein we start changing a little bit and then start moving forward. And today's uh, one of the quotes which I have uh, put on here is, nature is a preacher and life is a teacher. So definitely the nature, whether you like it or not, COVID is coming and teaching you a lesson here. It is preaching you, come on, what your people have done, you better change. Nature is teaching us. Now life is a teacher. What is life teaching? Today, you don't have a job, what you will do? You don't have money. What you will do? You cannot go out. What you will do? Without vaccination, you cannot go out. What you will do? That's a life path. It is teaching you. So what do you need to do? You need to better get vaccinated, whether you like it or not. When you go outside, you have to wear a mask. You like it or not. 
whether you like it or not, you go outside and come, you need to wash your clothes, wash your, because we need to take at least little, little special precautions for us to move forward. Now, seeing this, a fantastic evening. I myself can't believe that I could, uh, you know, manage for one hour, uh, you know, on this particular platform. I was just thinking that slide I might finish in 10, 15 minutes, but luckily it went on. I hope I've given a lot of uh, information which might be practically useful for